September 29th. The Awareness of the Call. For necessity is laid upon me, yes, woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9, verse 16. We are inclined to forget the deeply spiritual and supernatural touch of God. If you were able to tell exactly where you were when you received the call of God and can explain all about it, I question whether you have been truly called. The call of God does not come like that. It is much more supernatural. The realization of the call in a person's life may come like a clap of thunder, or it may dawn gradually. But however quickly or slowly this awareness comes, it is always accompanied with an undercurrent of the supernatural, something that is inexpressible and produces a glow. At any moment, the sudden awareness of this incalculable, supernatural, surprising call that has taken hold of your life may break through. I chose you. John 15, verse 16. The call of God has nothing to do with salvation and sanctification. You were not called to preach the gospel because you were sanctified. The call to preach the gospel is entirely and infinitely different. Paul describes it as a compulsion that was placed upon him. If you have ignored and thereby removed the great supernatural call of God in your life, take a review of your circumstances. See where you have put your own ideas of service or your particular abilities ahead of the call of God. Paul said, Woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. He had become aware of the call of God, and his compulsion to preach the gospel was so strong that nothing else was any longer even a competitor for his strength. If a man or woman is called of God, it doesn't matter how difficult the circumstances may be. God orchestrates every force at work for his purpose in the end. If you agree with God's purpose, he will bring not only your conscious level, but also all the deeper levels of your life, which you yourself cannot reach into perfect harmony.